hi welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome if you're new i am so foolish girl how y'all doing i'm so happy to be back so we're gonna get right into this reading if you want to get right into it ain't none to it but to do it how are you feeling how are they feeling what is their intuition right like what are their intentions what they want to do all of that is going to be time step down below pile number one pile number two pile number three okay so hi pile number one um i'm gonna split this deck and let's see um how you feeling or how are they feeling okay what are their intentions oh <laughs> should i take this should i not i kind of feel like mm, i'm gonna give it another shuffle but if this is legit um you could definitely be feeling a little bit like um you're losing control over the situation let's see sometimes when i don't answer i don't ask the question fully i i want to repeat it that's just me maybe i'm also so how are you feeling about your sp about your person about the person or your mind how are you feeling pile one Okay, I love it. Mm, oh, ooh, okay. A lot of major arcana. That kind of makes sense. So you could be feeling some sort of, um, it's like we're close, but yet so far. <sighs> you could be feeling like, Stuck between what like what you want to do and what you feel is the right thing to do okay we got the world card um and we got the hierophant um not like y'all care about that i don't even know why like i just want to teach her oh my goodness okay no seriously um pile number one you just kind of feel like this person has the gift of gab you just kind of feel like this person always gets their way you could have met this person online or you could be married to this person or this person could be asking for your hand in marriage um this is someone who is very traditional and you just feel like I feel like you want this person king of pentacles we got taurus virgo capricorn with the world we got sagittarius scorpio taurus aquarius leo something like that um is what i'm hearing yeah so really strong gemini virgo energy coming through as well honestly all of the signs with this magician you feel like this person could sell water to wine and this person just has you and you could have gone through a lot of cycles with this person but sometimes you feel like you want to cut this person off but at the same time it's like you admire them you admire this person you feel like this person is perfect this could be a sagittarius if this person isn't a sagittarius you just kind of feel like you're you might be more codependent than this person you might be more like wanting to establish something or be involved with something where this person can be really aloof and this person confuses you all right um, your deck seems to be there's cards that are like kind of flipped over so I feel like this person definitely has you in your head a lot okay let's see I'm gonna just I'm gonna put these back because I want to see if they come up again for your energy I mean for their energy towards you okay now we see how you're feeling about them how are they feeling about you 
Mm, this person, how they're feeling about you is kind of what I felt. This person wants you all to themselves. This person is used to getting what they want and they feel like you are always kind of getting what you want. I don't know if this person likes that so much or not. Um, let's see how else are they feeling. Oh, okay. For some of you, you have a child with this person, but they don't know where they stand with you. And it drives them crazy. If that's not the case, for some of you, you are a mom. I'm hearing super mom, super dad. And it's like, how do they do it? How do they do all of these things and still have time for this, that, and the third, right? Um, I'm also getting that if this is a new relationship, this person could definitely be secretively, yeah, thinking about having children with you. Um, hopefully there aren't any, um, custody battles or issues that are like going on right now. Um, and this connection secretively, um, I'm just hearing like, could be dealing with a Libra, could be any sign, um, could be dealing with a Cancer, could be dealing with Taurus, Cap Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, yeah, for some of you, I hate to say it, but I just feel like they, like, this is giving me, uh, you make me want to leave the one I'm with type of energy, whether this is a job, um, not this person works for like some secret society. I cannot deal with this. These downloads are crazy. Um, this is, this person feels like you're, you're going to break up or you already broke up some, something. Um, this also could be matriarchy this could be some next level deep spiritual um religious or spiritual beliefs and also about like childhood this person just feels like their world just became something else when they met you and it's just like you have it. And for some of you, this it could be painful for this person to give up their freedom. Um, but they just, they, they're they so miserable without you. So if you've cut this person off, if you've not given them access to your life, if this is a blended family or if this is like, if children are involved here in any way, um, if you just like kind of like pull back, it's, it's like it's hurting this person and they're just constantly thinking about you and... If you told this person you don't want to have a family with them, anything of the sort, this person is going back to the drawing board because, like, they just don't get it, you know? Um, let's move forward and see what are their intentions, okay? What are their intentions? Mm. For some of you, I hate to say it, they might hide behind their feelings. They might hide behind their children, their work. Um, they might hide behind their creativity. For some of you, um, if you are like a rebound situation, it's cool. Like have your fun and try not to get too attached to this person, if this is something that has been long term, um, this person is going to, most honestly, they're going to walk away from the other person. So, for example, like, if you've been waiting, if this is a third party situation, I just say that because of this, this card, this is the Five of Cups. Like, if you've been dealing in some sort of, like, third party situation or something like that, and it's been any type of, like, choose me or pick me if you've been the one that 
does not have baggage. You don't have a lot of drama, okay? You're in this white t-shirt. You're in this light energy. They're choosing you over someone else and <laughs> and rightfully so. Oh, whoever this is, they don't want me to say this. This is a bona fide hater. But hey, I return to sender 24-7, 365. So don't even try to play me, all right? Um, this person might want you to like kind of be quiet or whatever. This person's choosing you. They're choosing you over someone else, over a job, over other responsibilities that just, it seems like a circus. It doesn't work for them. They really want love in their life with this two of cups. They're choosing this two of cups here and they're choosing you in this situation. And they could definitely see themselves having a future with you, having a child with you, um, you being the mother of their children, the father of their children, and owning some type of spiritual business, spiritual empire. Um, they want to cut out the secrets. You know, they know how much that secrets hurt you or hurt your feelings. So they want to cut all of that. They want to cut all of that energy out of your connection. And they know that straight up, like you've been giving more, like you've been kind of giving more into the situation more so than they have. So it's like, okay, it's time for me to give back. It's time for me to give more to them than, you know, what I've been giving. They, they feel like you deserve so 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 much more um yeah let's just see what is the possible outcome of this situation with you and this person mm, okay wow there might be a sudden <sighs> break or yeah and some sort of sexual activity okay if you've been intimate with this person you might like stop being intimate with them and the advice is to honestly like do do what is you're led to do um things will pick up let's just get some more for you know what is the outcome of the situation and some advice. Okay, if someone here doesn't take the high road, it's just going to be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It's kind of like if you know a secret or if you know something about what happened between the two of you, and you can let it go, then let that secret go. Let that drama go. Let all of that energy go, like, if that's how you feel. And really start to, like, co-create your, your reality with this Queen of Wands. Um, you know, some of you could just be getting along with their family or getting along with a sibling or a female. A feminine energy could also be a masculine energy. Could be a Capricorn. Could be any sign. Um really strong Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, yeah, um, just kind of, you know, choose your battles, choose your battles, and wait for them to communicate, and don't be combative when they don't, this person wants you to be patient with them, they're going through a lot and could be possibly having turbulent like relationships or connections with other people. So I definitely would not be taking this too serious. I just saw 13, 13. All right. If that resonates, I know for me, I've been personally seeing that. And I know that that means for me, it's time to close one door and open another. It's time for massive change and that number represents scorpio anyways i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for watching this reading pile number one if you like this don't forget to give it a like and i'll see you later next time and your reading until then trust your not your intuition and let me know what your intuition is telling you in the comments Namaste. How you doing, pile number two? Let's see what 
the cards heaven so for you how are you feeling how you doing let's see how your person's feeling about you let's get into this juicy spread wow okay um you this is how you're feeling actually wild too you you're feeling kind of kind of hurt you know um and you feel like it's okay like i i'm i'm going to get over this i can get over this this is not even that freaking serious going out having a good time maybe that's something you want to do maybe you just want to be happy it's like how you're feeling about this person is like no matter what they do they can't hurt your feelings i'm hearing beyonce in my head like you won't break my soul so yeah especially if this is someone that you met at, a, at an event at a party um hopefully you're not having to experience like moving or relocating um after some sort of breakup okay so yeah how are you feeling about them mm. i'm just gonna i'm not playing oh my goodness you don't give like you I, I i'm not even gonna say it you don't give a f uh, what i was like okay I don't have a problem. I don't have an issue being being by myself. I don't have an issue with that. I don't have an issue like like if this is what we're doing, if you're going to be playing games, if you're going to be playing my playing with me, like I want to get married, I want my future. You just feel like if you're not my person. Um like seriously. Hopefully this, you know, you know, kind of throwing yourselves into work and over feeling left out in the cold. So if this person left you outside in the cold in any sort of way, you're just like, you know what? I'm going to have a good time in spite of. I'm going to go out. I'm going to party. I'm going to chill. I'm going to kick it like with my homies and I'll get over you because for some of you I feel like you have a good job or you have a great career or you have a great head on your shoulders and you don't necessarily have a lot of baggage and you have a great support system so I feel like yeah you don't need this person life could be showing you that you don't need them or you don't need to to deal with them um especially if this person likes to argue if this person is into like argumented arguments and like you get into it with them and then they like kind of ghost you or maybe don't want to talk to you and it's like you're always trying to prove yourself like that you're the light like that you're the chosen one like that you're like that type of balance imbalance and it's so off like i've been not feeling very well for like the past couple of days um and i just feel like any relationships that put me in this five of swords energy could be cancer um pisces scorpio with this nine of cups you could be dealing with this um really strong gemini aquarius libra but i'm also seeing aries leo sag and taurus virgo capricorn really hard working energy coming through from you where it's like i'm working so hard i don't have time to focus on your drama okay so if you're just like not focusing on this person's drama or anyone's drama like whoever's drama then yeah definitely this is your reading so i'm gonna just put these back in here and i'm gonna see if these cards come up for how they're feeling about how they're feeling about you okay so that's how you're feeling about them I just love the citrine crystal eyes. <laughs> um, okay, so let's just see. Oh, mm, okay. 
Um, this person could be feeling a little bit down by you. They could feel like you're a little bit cold. They're not used to your stern energy. If you possibly, quite possibly, gave the shits to this person and you popped off and you like let them know what is the real real this person is shocked they're shocked also by your independence so um how they feeling right now about you is like whoa okay <laughs> I did not know this person had this plan. I did not know who I was fucking with. Like, I just did not know, okay? Hold on a second. Let's see, how are they feeling about my pile number two? A lot of major arcanas. This could be something where whatever was lacking in their life, you came in so quickly and you helped them to see some sort of injustice. I don't know if I split this deck. I'm gonna just flip it just to see. Um, They feel like your energy is healing, but at the same time, your energy kind of messes things up. And it's not that you're messy. Yeah, it's just the, the people in their life. Yes, yeah, see, now we got the nine of cups reversed. It's the people in their, in their life that are messy. They can't take you, you know? Um... It's just like your energy and your presence demands structure and order. Whereas this person is just used to dealing with chaos. And let's just see how are they feeling about that. Wow. Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio energy coming through. Yeah, they need a change. Um, for some of you, this person could be, you know, going through a divorce, leaving or cutting business ties with a marital spouse spouse or an ex spouse is this messy but it's like this person it's like they're feeling like you are not having this you're not accepting this in into your life and it's just so healing to them it's so healing to them yeah a lot of um new order like for real it's this is like literally if i can't if i if i if i'm making this up y'all let me know my heart goes out to whoever is watching this because whoever is like on the other end of this situation and there's like some sort of like separation or breakup it's been long overdue and you're gonna get your just rewards there's gonna be so much healing there's going to be someone who actually, like, they're aware of their schedule and your schedule and what's going on. They're going to put you first, okay, over their job. Like, if you were in a relationship, something like that. And it's going to be so dreamy. Someone's literally, like, giving up on, giving up on the past energy that looked good, but it was, there was not a damn thing good about it. Like, there was nothing good about it. That's how they're feeling. They're feeling like there's nothing good about the past. And hopefully, um, oh my god. Hopefully someone is not, is not, it's not gonna be as selfish. So, let's just see, uh, what, what are their intentions? Moving forward, what are their intentions? Moving forward in this connection? What are the intentions moving forward in this connection? Ooh. 
Ooh. Oh my god, okay. I'm only taking what's like straight up in front of me because there's a lot of energy coming through this reading. This person is going to create balance. Like if you guys have been out of balance, the energy, the communication have been off. If you've been giving more to this person, this person is going to nurture, nurture this connection and they're gonna i love that this king of swords is showing up again this person's gonna let you know exactly how much they're thinking about you and what they want from you okay um yeah pile number two taurus libra gemini aquarius libra energy with this king of swords um they're gonna let you know exactly how they feel and they're not going to hold back. So if you have been holding back, then I just feel like this person is not showing you how much like that bothers them or hurts them that, you know, you're holding back from them like that. Um, this person is definitely going to come in and, and interrupt whatever you have, whatever kind of structure you have going on in your life and i'm not gonna say that it's for a bad reason um with this eight of pentacles reverse and this empress of right this could very well be some sort of energy where it's like things were not aligned and now they're getting aligned um this person their intentions are to help you see they, they're gonna mirror you in some sort of way with this eight of pentacles and i hate to say it but i just feel like they're gonna some kind of way disrupt your creative energy yeah be careful with this energy with the moon the king of swords and the eight of pentacles reverse um this person just needs to be honest with you and if you feel like this person isn't being honest with you we don't do that we don't do that like we just don't do that okay we just don't. We know that we create our reality, so we do not deal with NPCs, okay? Yeah, if there's any imbalance, this person's going to make it right. And if they don't, it's like you're going to move on anyway. So hopefully this person acts on how they're feeling and creates some sort of balance and structure in your connection because... For me, I just kind of feel like with the, the, someone's giving more than the other. I, I'm so grateful to see this. Because I was like, oh, oh, where is this going? <laughs> okay, yeah. They're going to shed dark of the light. Thankfully. Thankfully. I, I, thankfully, you guys are like matching my frequency. And you don't deal with infidelities. You don't deal with third-party situations. You don't deal with being number two. You don't deal with that shit. That's low vibrational energy. If you're here for that, listen. The other person, the uh, that other energy, they're like, yo, I'm with my boo, I'm with my bae. I used to be that way, especially if this has to do with work, any work situation, they're cutting all of that out with this seven of swords in reverse. I was just like, where is this going? Where is my pile number two? I know my pile number two is on point. Like I know they don't play spiritually. My tribe, my vibe, my energy, my frequency matches who I interact with. So on this channel, we definitely get exactly what we want. It's a fact, okay? So this Seven of Swords just tells me that this person, their intentions are to come clean with you. If they were a player, they don't want to be a player no more, okay? This person, yeah, they're going to think twice before they communicate with you. They know for a fact that anything that is less than divine, it's not going to exist. And I love how this tower is also reversed on the bottom of the deck. They're cutting out that faulty community, that fake, fake relationships, fake energy. All of that's being cut out. Okay, that's their intentions. That's actually what you're creating as well. And I love how I split this deck. And we do have the King of Pentacles upright. So, yes. And the Nine of Cups upright again. So, there is going to be a shift. Okay, for some of you, yeah, their intentions could be to leave an unhealthy marriage or relationship that wasn't serving them. Start something over. Take their time in building something solid 
with you something solid that you know is it's gonna be dependable and long-lasting so you can expect this person to invest in you and let's just see what we have like for some quick advice and the outcome um if this is new just take it slow don't take things so serious don't try to get everything like carved in stone and also let this person's actions speak louder than their words okay and don't be so quick to give if you feel like you've given so much just know that the ball is in, in their court okay with this ten of wands this her far reverse the ball is in their court and just let them let the let the cards fall where they may you don't need to get all caught up in defending yourself you put it out there you know what it is let that person come to you and deal with their emotions especially if you have pulled back your energy in any type of way let them deal with their emotions okay yes so that's all i have for pile two if you like this press like and until later let me know what your intuition is telling you in the comments and yeah namaste hi pile three if you have been seeing 333 let me know okay i definitely been seeing a lot 333 so how are you feeling how are you feeling about them how are they feeling about you let's tap into your energy uh what are their intentions so how are you feeling welcome back welcome if you're new pile number three how are you feeling about them oh this person makes you so happy honestly especially if this is new or some sort of renewal on love oh i just love that the sun card yeah you're just like oh my god how are you feeling about this person pile number three oh my goodness this person makes you feel like whatever you went through in the past whatever that ending or that breakup was oh it was worth it like all that pain um and trauma that you went through was truly worth it how are you feeling yeah this person makes you feel like you can trust them A lot of major arcana so maybe this could possibly be a long distance relationship or maybe this person has not let you know how they feel maybe there's some sort of like blockage that it just seems like it's hard it's real hard to get over um because this temperance was in reverse, so even though I don't read this deck in reverse, I'm going to take that one. Um, I just feel like maybe you're feeling like things could be better. Life is good, but it could be better. This connection, it's good, but it could be better, you know? And, and it's like... Mm, let's just get a confirmation for this temperance in reverse. Oh my god, major healing. <sighs> and honestly, I'm kind of hearing for some of you, it's like for once, someone's gonna save me. For for once, like someone's gonna come through. Like someone's gonna come through for me. Whereas like I was coming through for other people. Like someone's gonna come through for me now. And also, I'm coming through for myself. So if this is a breakup, you're definitely feeling like, oh, I'm coming through. I'm coming through for myself. I'm coming through for myself. I don't need you to come through for me. Because I'm coming through for myself. Okay? 
for others of you listen you are ready like legit you're ready to be with listen you might even be expecting okay um really strong leo aries leo sag gemini aquarius libra sagittarius strong sag and aquarius energy coming through doesn't have to be could be any sign because it is a general reading but in the back of your mind like in your in their and your subconscious mind right now because in this illustration it's the two of you you're feeling like i hope i hope i don't get pregnant or where i got pregnant what am i gonna do like you know that you're meant to be so no matter what even if this person annoys you sometime and even if they brought you some sort of heartbreak you want to heal this you want to fix the situation because you could feel like this person is your twin flame. And if you don't, if that label and title doesn't resonate with you, you feel like this is my child's father or what have you. This is my baby mama, like the mother of my children. I should fix this. We should work this out. We should be able to heal this connection. Um, and you know what? I'm I'm truly hopeful. I'm I'm truly hopeful. I'm actually gonna leave this here. And tap into how do how are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? I'm just gonna pull these cards back, but I'm gonna leave them and just see how are they feeling about you. Okay, and then we're gonna see what they're gonna do next. How are they feeling about you? Okay, this this energy is coming up a lot. So, um, maybe you might feel guided to go back and watch one of the other piles. I feel like I've seen this justice card in one of the other piles. But, yeah, how, how they're feeling about you is if they did you dirty or if they played you out in any type of way, they are feeling like they messed up. Like, like they made a... Like, they made a huge, 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 a huge mistake. Um, let's see how they're feeling. Oh, my God. If they haven't been communicating with you or they've been holding back, you know, their intentions are they're going to let you know. Um, they feel like they need to let you know. They feel like they need to let you know where they've been, what they've been up to. <sighs> and yeah, I'm definitely feeling some sort of like guilt trip, you know, coming through from them about, I don't know, like that they got problems or they got issues. But I mean, if you want to deal with that, if that's, if that's what you want to deal with, that's what you want to be into. I'm just saying, by all means, go forward um also for some of you i feel like this person thinks that you need to speak up and say how you feel if you've been holding back how you feel and not expressing yourself that person is attracted to fire energy that person is attracted to let's just say someone who has mercury in aries versus someone who has mercury in cancer you know um total opposite and this person like yeah they're they're feeling like so if you if you lit up and you let this person know and you went blast on them they actually love that they love that you did that they love that you put them in their place oh my god yes that makes them so freaking obsessed with you yes nine of pentacles look at that this person is on some like, you belong to me, which is so strange. Um, this person's gonna be reaching out to you. And yeah, expect some sort of unexpected message. 
because this person, especially if this is new, um, their intentions are to like, they're going to try to handle you really strong, really soon. Just be careful and kind of vet this person kind of don't give too much too soon. Okay. And don't let this person take advantage of you. And if you're not trying to get wifed up and hubbied up, just watch out for this person because it might seem like their intentions are lighthearted, but in the end, their per their intentions are this, you know, so they're coming off like this, like they don't really care. And it's just like fun. And it's like, Ooh, look at my, you know, sugar baby or, you know, sugar daddy, whatever the hell mama. Right. But then in the end, it's like, Oh, this is lighthearted. I'm, I'm not trying. I don't want anything serious. And it's like, wait, but I'm like super obsessed. Where, where are you just clocking you? watching your every move i mean for some of you you might find that attractive on some levels yeah i like that too i like when a man is really like wanting to know where i am and worried about me i love that energy but at the same time trust me nothing toxic but anyway their intentions are to honestly commit to you build some sort of really strong solid communication so if your co communication has been off or it's been faulty or things have just been off in general, just expect this person to, to show up for you, okay? And even when, they, even when it seems like it, just tell them how you feel, okay? Let them know what's up and let them know how you feel. So let's get what is the possible outcome and some advice to close out. like if someone hurt you in the past and they broke your heart and I just feel like the next person that you're manifesting in your life is not that and the reason I'm saying that is because I I am seeing yeah that you're you're afraid here you're afraid of getting your heart broken you're afraid of getting hurt again and it's like come on like you're not gonna get hurt everything's gonna be fine like you're not and you don't need to be drinking about this person if this person like drives you to drinking or if this person like makes you confused like you're going to you're going to regain some sort of clarity when you release like having control over the outcome okay and you can expect some sort of judgment day, especially if someone's been trying to come between you and your family or between you and your connection and you know that it is divine. Yeah, the outcome is and for you to be grateful for that, that you're going to overcome any sort of heartbreak. And yeah, mm, I'm definitely seeing you coming off as the queen of wands. And if ever you're going to start to know your worth and your worth is going to pay off in a major way. You like upgrading yourself, upgrading your, your, um, your life in general, just knowing your worth and not settling for more for less than what you deserve and expecting way, way, way more. Okay. That is what I am seeing as the outcome. I'm definitely seeing you living in your divine feminine energy and in your divine masculine energy, being able to withdraw from temptations that you know are toxic and unhealthy for your spiritual avatar, right? You know this already, your physical avatar. Um, I also feel like let's see outcome and advice. I'm hearing a really great job well done. I mean, it's so great. Like your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides in the universe, they're like congratulating you because you passed some like really immature energy with this 
nine of wands you know I'm just seeing you in some sort of like mastery level of co-creation because we have this king of wands here who was like just in reverse and now all of a sudden it's like with this temperance energy this is just it's just exactly what they needed like giving up those toxic lifestyles and life ways and choosing love choosing to overcome some sort of temptation i'm really getting that because the side of wands was in reverse that's why i love shuffling on the camera what's on the bottom of the deck okay yes really getting that place getting that home getting that honestly like getting your libido back i'm here for some of you like really <laughs> the outcome getting your sex life back but uh, having a healthier um a healthier sex life all right um that's all i have for right now and also could possibly just be getting a new home or even relocating and getting someone new who actually really matches your frequency and your vibration that's what 